The a &E original series Bates Motel is back for season three, and the show is a contemporary prequel to Alfred Hitchcock's classic film, Psycho, as you well know, and it's filled with uh, family strife, murder, and mystery. And joining me now is actor Freddie Highmore, who plays Norman Bates. How are you, Freddie? Good. How are you doing, Ryan? Very well. Thanks for joining us all the way from Los Angeles, California. Of course, the premiere of season three is going to be uh, this coming Monday on a and &E. What has it been like playing Norman Bates over the past couple of years? Well, I've turned out all right. People <laughs> keep asking, oh, are you going to be, uh, do you find yourself having these psycho tendencies at the end of every day or at the end of each season? But I've left it all behind for now. So, but it's been great fun and that's all. That's funny. What, what do you think about Norman's character? How did you kind of prepare for this role? I saw some of the audition tapes that you had. Yes, we did a few uh, joke uh, sketches that are online for, uh, for Comic-Con over the past two seasons. But I guess the real preparation was more just trying to create this character that at the start people would support and sympathize with and empathize with. Uh, and then season three, I think, is about questioning whether or not we were right to support him and love him in the first place. Now, is there a tipping point in the season where Norman starts to become psycho, quote unquote? I think season three is the season when Norman Bates becomes psycho. There are a few tipping points. Uh, I'd say that the physical closeness of Norma and Norman uh, is ever more increasing when it just sort of started with the kiss at the end of season two. And this might be the season as well where we get to see Norman dress up as Norma for the first time. It, it is kind of bizarre uh, how, how close their relationship <laughs> is. Uh, do, do you think that there's remnants of, of the original movie? How much of the original movie is, is in the TV show? It's interesting because I think whilst we all felt free to create our own version of the story in our own world within that wider psycho mythology uh, the end is always going to be or at least we're going to have to pass through the point of Norman being psycho as we see in the movie and that's how I've always seen it anyway so the end is almost necessarily linked to that and that's what the that's what the the fun has been in seeing seeing how we get there now Freddie speaking of fun what's the uh, funniest moment behind the scenes of taping the show this year I think it's always those moments of physical closeness between Norma and Norman that Vera and I end up laughing at at some point because it's pushing it to the point of believability and then on occasion if you go too far or play it too over the top uh, or rub noses for too long then it becomes funny and it stops being real so in a way it's a good, um, a good moment of of awareness for us that when we do start laughing we've probably gone a little too far on that occasion. They've yeah. got too close too soon. <laughs> yeah, so, so you and, and Vera's relationship personally, are, are you guys friends off the set? Great friends, yeah. I'm the godfather to her son and sort of they're my family I guess out in, in Vancouver where, we've, where we film. So uh, no, her and, and her family are wonderful. All right, Freddie, it's, it's going to be a very exciting season. Anything that you can tell us about season three that some people might not know? Well, there's been a few teases already. I guess um, there's so many things flash to mind and so many things that I, that I can't say. But I think if we came to Bates Motel expecting a certain version of Norman, I think that we might finally get there in, in the third season. All right, very good. Thank you, Freddie, for joining us here today on CT Style. Bates Motel Season 3 begins Monday, March 9th at 9 p.m. on A&E. Thanks again for joining us now.